Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to import files into SharePoint. And we've done that before in other demos with PowerShell and without PowerShell. This time we're going to do it with PowerShell and we're going to do it with metadata. I have a bunch of CVs here and some of the people we have hired, some of the people we have put on the maybe list, maybe we can hire them in the future. And then there is the definite no's, they're here. So we have all these files and we want to import them into SharePoint to keep track of them. And of course we could just drag and drop that or we can just upload all the files, uh, that would work. But we want to retain the metadata that we have in the file system here. So also, of course, you have all the metadata that's actually in the file name. Usually people do that quite often. They implement a file naming standard. And as you see, this has been the last name, comma, space, the first name, and then space, and then a hyphen, and then we have the region that they are applying for a job in. So let's put all of that as metadata. That's what we're doing. So let's start with creating a document library for this. I'm just going to do that with the new BMP list command here. There we go. And the title of it is going to be CVs, like that. And the template is going to be the document library. And I want to show that on quick launch. And of course, I want to enable versioning that's on by default in document libraries. But anyhow, I just want to show that parameter also. So there we go. Now I'm creating that list. Great. Now we have the CVs list. Now we would just want to add the columns here to it, the, the metadata that we want to add. I'm going to do that with add BNP field. In the UI, it's called a column, but in SharePoint IAPIs, it's always called a field. Don't ask me why, but that's how it always is. So we're going to add a field to the list, CVs, and the title of the it's going to be the display name. It's going to be, first of all, we're going to do the uh, decision. There we go. And that is going to be the, the internal name can be decision also, or it can be CV decision. It's actually better. So we have a consistent naming standard. There we go. And the type is going to be a choice. And the choices are going to be choices here. There we go. Yes, no, maybe. All right, let's run that. And of course, as always, I run that with F8. There we go. Now that's been added. And then we can do the last name and the first name. So let's just do that. We can copy some of this here. That part, yes, that's going to be the same. And then we can do um, display name equals first name, internal name. We'll make a specific one here also. First name, that's good. And then the type is going to be just a text, right? And then we're going to do, we're going to run that by F8. And then let's do one with last name also. And there we go. There we go. I don't really like copying code like this, but in this case, it's just a setup, so it's okay. It's just something that needs to run once. And the last one is just a department. It's going to be a text also. All right. So now everything should be set up. Let's look at the document library and see what we have here. So there's the CVs. Let's go into that. And there we have the name of the file. And if I upload a new file here, Let's just take one of these. No. There we go. And as you see, these columns that I added by PowerShell now, they have not been made visible in the UI. So I'm just going to change that. I'm going to show hide columns. And then decision, first name, last name, department. Those are the fields that we want there. And the view, of course. There we go. And now if I select this file, I can of course do it manually. I just click on the information here and then change everything here, edit all and fill it out. As you see, we have the decision, yes, no, maybe. The title is uh, should be filled out also actually later. 
But that's the setup. There we have all the columns that we need. Now we just need to automate, because of course we don't want to fill out this manually. We want to automate it with PowerShell. And that's the cliffhanger. That's what we're going to do in the next demo. Thank you for watching this one.